from the in-car camera, we look back at Chip Thomas in the yellow and red number 24. He's in third position. Out in front is Keeker. There in second is Eric Gordon. That's right. Eric Gordon in that black number six moved right into second. Chip Thomas fell to third in that yellow number 24. And Jim Flume, in fact, is in fourth place in that blue number 67 car. Oh, oh come on. Right here, three, four, five cars involved. Oh, my gosh. Guys are still getting into it. Well, we can see Mahoney down on the inside. There is a Randy Sweet in the black number two. And there is the uh, Leffler car, number nine, of Gene Lee Gibson. Uh, Bill Rose in number three, another black car and a red car. And obviously, we cannot uh, discern the, the numbers from right here. So we won't try to guesstimate who's involved if we can't uh, make out the number. That's Ricky Howard and is the other car up on the fence. We can't see him. But this is uh, Jim Mahoney down here. It looks like, uh, yeah. He looks like he might have uh, got his bell rung. He, he might be in trouble there because he's not moving around too much. And Steve Stapp that is sitting Steve there Stapp on the left rear tire. Steve Stapp is sitting there trying to make sure he's okay. It looks like he's moving around. He's, he's moving his left arm. I think he's okay. But he got hit real, real hard. That's Steve Stapp making sure. There's Sweet. There's Randy Sweet getting out of his car. That's Gene Lee Gibson in the nine car. He's moving around. He's all right. There we see the Bill Rose, the tail of Bill Rose's car, and he is out. That's Bob Sacconi. Bob Sacconi in the red 59. He is still in the cockpit, and you can just see the tail at the top of your screen of number six. And you said that, yeah, that's Rick Howard because he Howard. has the red, white, and blue driving suit. All the drivers are out uh, or at least moving around inside the cockpit and uh, still talking to Gene Lee Gibson there. Yeah, I th I, it looks like all these guys up on the top of the racetrack, they're all moving around. They all seem to be getting out of their race cars, uh, seem to be all right. I think Mahoney is, is all right. He was moving around also, but uh, he wasn't getting out of the car quite as quickly as did the guys up here on top of the racetrack. Larry Rice, we have made this point before. These guys are so fast on the high banks here at Winchester. If something happens in front, the guy really behind does not have time to make some evasive move. The closing speed is so unbelievably fast that when something happens, you have no chance. They're waving the red flag now, Gary. They're going to stop everybody. It's awfully congested down there. The whole track is, is almost blocked. It was kind of dangerous for the safety player or safety people to try to work around there while those cars were running through there. Well, as the red flag is being displayed, perhaps on a replay, we can discern what happened that got this thing triggered. Now, I think it's perhaps on pass to the lower right of your screen. There's Sacconi in the red number nine. Sacconi There's contact right in front of Sacconi. Well, it looked like there was contact up there. That looks like uh, Jim Mahoney up against the fence, up the top. That was Randy Sweet, and he got together. Everybody else just kind of were trying to miss the crash, running into each other. They didn't hit too hard. Mahoney's the one that backed into the fence up on the top. Here's Billy Rose. He hit the fence way back up there and didn't have any brakes. And then he came along and bammed into uh, Gene Lee Gibson. But he hit the fence back up the track and lost his brakes. That's the reason he was still running in there at that point. One of the drivers involved, Rick.